In this video, we're going to show you how to map prefixes for parts lookup systems. And this works for all of them. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up part stream, but it works the same way for, for part smart or parts manager pro or whatever it happens to be. So the first thing I want to show you is that in part stream, when we go in and actually try to look up a part or we try to add it to a pick list, we actually get an error message here that tells us that the vendor code for HOM is not mapped. So what Lizzie is telling you is that she doesn't know who HOM is. So we're going to go in and actually tell the system who HOM is and what the what prefixes they use. So the first thing that has to happen is we're going to go in and we're going to locate Honda, which is the, the vendor that we were just trying to work with. We're going to work with this vendor. We're going to come over here to the manufacturer link and we're going to open that up. And one of the things that you see here is a ma manufacturer prefixes. Now, this is not where we're going to put in HOM. All we're doing here is we're trying to identify for the system who this particular contact record goes to. So, for example, here is Honda Power Equipment. So we're going to tell the system that this is our Honda Power Equipment vendor. And then I'm going to come over here and we're going to locate, um, there's probably American Honda. So here is the Power Sports division of them. So we're going to come over to this record and we're going to tell it that this particular record matches the Honda Power Sports. So we're going to come down here and find Honda and we're going to go to Honda motorcycles okay so we'll select the Honda motorcycles and add it now again all we're doing here is telling Lizzie which manufacturer or which code goes with that particular customer but this is an internal mapping it's not something for part stream itself so the next thing that we need to do is actually map who that manufacturer is so now we're going to go over here to settings inventory and we're going to map prefixes. We're going to pick PartSmart as the, the uh, product that we want to map because PartStream and PartSmart are both basically the same product. We're going to come in here and we're going to pick that same prefix that we picked a moment ago. So we're going to come down here and we're going to find Honda Motorcycle. And we're going to put in HOM, which was the prefix that we actually saw when we were looking for that particular product. And so now we have matched our Honda Motorcycle standard manufacturer code that we had up at the top uh, or on the, the contact record. We've mapped it to a prefix of HOM. So now th those two prefixes go together. Now, if HON also happened to be a prefix that PartSmart uses for, for Honda, then we would again come down here and find Honda again. So we'll find that same record that we were looking for a second ago, Honda Motorcycle, and then we'll put in HON and we'll add that prefix in as well. Now, this standard manufacturer code that you see here is actually there for us needing to add a, a link to a manufacturer code that doesn't exist. So in other words, maybe there was a Honda engines that didn't exist in our standard manufacturer list and we need to add a prefix to it. This just gives us a way to be able to add that manufacturer to the list, um, you know, to the internal list from right here on the control. Now this does not add a manufacturer to the contact list. It's only adding another manufacturer to this list so that we can choose it to, to map to it. So once we get that done, um, the, the next thing that you should do is go back over here and try to add the, a part again. And if it adds it up here to the top of your pick list, then Lizzie has properly mapped everything and can find the part number and knows what vendor it goes to. So step one is to map the customer record, the business record, to who they are. And then you go to that to settings and map all of the prefixes that go to that standard manufacturer code. All of the ones that go to it are mapped over in settings for the part stream interface. 